Good morning. Before starting, Dr. Eduardo Minuche answered some questions that arose during the actual anatomy class. Okay, good morning. My name is Eduardo Minuche. How does normal brain parenchyma differ from edema on CT? There is a big difference between those uh, edema, edema and the uh, uh, brain parenchyma of the white matter. Um, the white matter uh, in the brain, in the normal brain, is uh, is a white substance. There is no other images like uh, uh, hyperdense uh, or hypodense. And the edema is a um, lesion that you can see that I, um, like a gray um, color. There is a diffuse. Uh, dissemination of the uh, image in the brain, maybe in the one hemisphere or in both hemispheres, it depends. In which cases is it recommended to perform a CT scan of the head with contrast and why? I would like re recommend uh, to do uh, a CT scan with contrast always in in the evaluation of the lesions of the of the CT of canyon or encephalus because if you don't use the contrast IV you you cannot see the lesions the contrast maybe the enhancement the lesions uh, around the, the lesion primary uh, it, it forms uh, a ring uh, around the lesions that is the reason because we can use contrast what ct findings might suggest a subdural hematoma versus an epidural hematoma You can see in the CT scan uh, a lesion uh, in the peripheral of the brain. Uh, there is a typical image that uh, hypo, no, hypodense uh, the lesion uh, is, is uh, move the brain uh, to the to the in, uh, interior. The lesion is always exterior, um, extra-axial, and uh, the brain is, uh, is uh, moved to, the, to the, the middle line of the, the brain. That is, is typical of the subdural lesion. For this part, first, I place the lateral ventricle. Just below, I position the septum pellucidum. To the right, I fit the head of the caudate nucleus. Next to it, I place the internal capsule. Following with that, I add the left lentiform nucleus. Now, I position the insula, a hidden brain structure involved in perception and emotion. Moving forward, I fit the optic chiasm. Right next to it, I place the superclinoid internal carotid artery. Now I move to the school base and place the cephenoid body. Beside it, I add the anterior clinoid process. I carefully fit the medial and lateral pericoid plates. Next, I position the infratemporal fossa, a, a deep region housing important nerves and blown vessels. Let's fit together this sagittal brain CT scan, one structure and at a time. 
Fertz, the Brit, the Corpus Callosum. Next, the Tin Divider, the Septum Pelusium. Now, the connectors, the anterior, posterior, and epithalamic commissures. Adding the cerebrospinal fluid hardways, the subarachnoid cisterns, the pericaiosal, interpendicular, quadigeminal, ambient, lamina terminalis, and posterior cerebellobular cisterns are visible. The balance center, the cerebellar vermis. Shaking for red flags, MRI max effect or middle shift. No bleeding, swelling or asymmetric is detected. Coronal Brink section, peace be peace. The foundation, the flex cerebri. Adding the verticus, the lateral, new we please, the lateral verticus, the fluid production center, the chloride plexus, the medial connection, the dirks verticus, the sensory hub, the thalamus, new we please, the thalamus, lateral expansion, the temporal heart of the lateral ventriculus. Star Space Cerebral Sister. This is the actual picture to the CT scan. Uh, here is the frontal lobe. Uh, this is the fork cerebri. Um, caudal uh, nucleus uh, is here. Uh, Sylvian fissure uh, uh, is here. Um, thalamus. Thalamus is here, uh, uh, stri sinus is here, is here, uh, septum, septum is here, is here, uh, occipital lobe is here, uh, and croid plexus uh, is here, uh, this producer cere cerebrospinal fluid. Hello, today we are assembling a face model of the brain vascular system using the cerebral CT angiography. First, we place the anterior cerebral artery and the anterior communicative artery. Below the vascular artery, formed by the vertebral artery, for the venous system, we have the superior and inferior cerebral sinuses. Finally, the occipital signs complete the drainage system. This is a coronal CT scan of the brain. This imaging technique provides a frontal view and allowing use to examine various anatomical structures. In first place, we have the ventricular system. Uh, we have the ven lateral ventricles this produce a cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, we have the tear ventricle and the inferior arm of the lateral ventricle. In second, in second place, we have the subcortical structures, the thalamus. Acts, this acts at the brain a relay station. In third place, we have the midline structures. We have the corpus callosum, the superior sagittal sinus. Almost, we have the brain structures, uh, the midbrain or cerebral uh, production region. Hello, today we are assembling a face model of the brain vascular system. 